A Secret Worth Sharing by Jonathan Emmett It was a beautiful summer day in the woodland. The birds were singing, the bees were buzzing, and the sun hung high in the sky like a bright golden coin. The perfect day to go exploring, decided Mole and he set off to see what he could find. Mole was not used to being above ground in warm weather, and so after a while he had to stop for a rest. Hot diggity, he puffed, sitting down against the side of a mossy stump. Bugs and beetles, said a squeaky voice. Whatever's that? Mole jumped up in surprise and found a small furry face peering at him through a hole in the stump. Hello, he said nervously. I'm Mole, who are you? I'm Mouse, said the face, and gave Mole the sweetest smile he'd ever seen. The stump was hollow, and Mouse had a nest inside it. It was a very nice nest, as Mole discovered when Mouse invited him in. Mole decided that Mouse was very nice too, and as he walked home that evening, he felt very pleased with himself for having made a new friend. Mole had other friends, but they all knew each other. Now he had a friend all of his own. Mouse is my special friend, he told himself, and he decided to keep Mouse a secret and not to tell anyone about her. Mole had never had a secret before. It was very exciting and he found it hard to think of anything else. So he visited Mouse again the next day, and the day after, and the day after that. Mole spent so much time with Mouse that he didn't have time for his other friends. Squirrel, Hedgehog and Rabbit called round to see Mole but he was never in his burrow. Where is he? wondered Squirrel. And what's he up to? wondered Hedgehog. I hope he's all right, said Rabbit. One morning, just as Mole was hurrying off for another secret visit to Mouse, Rabbit, Hedgehog and Squirrel arrived. Hello, Mole, said Rabbit. We haven't seen much of you recently, so we thought we'd all pop round. Mole was disappointed at first. He wanted to see Mouse again, but he couldn't tell his friends to go away. However, once they got talking, he found himself enjoying their company, as he always did. So, Mole said Rabbit eventually. What have you been up to? Mole suddenly felt very embarrassed. I don't know what you mean, he said. I've only... But before he could finish, he was interrupted. Hello, Mole, are you down there? called a voice from outside. It was Mouse. I thought I might come and visit you for a change, he explained to Mole. Rabbit, Hedgehog and Squirrel were very surprised, but delighted to meet her, and Mouse soon made friends with all of them. But Mole looked rather unhappy. What's wrong, Mole? asked Rabbit. Mouse was my special friend, said Mole glumly. But now I'll have to share her with everyone else. But Mole, said Mouse, giving Mole a hug. I'm just as much your friend as ever. Only now I'm rabbits and squirrels and hedgehogs' friends too. Friendship is a very special thing, explained Rabbit. But one of the things that makes it so special is that the more you share it, the more you have. 
I didn't know that, said Mole. So you were keeping me a secret, smiled Mouse. Mole blushed. I suppose I was, he admitted. But now I know better. You're a secret worth sharing, beamed Mole.